Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the introduction of linear programming. First, we will see the basic words regarding linear and program. Linear refers to linear relationship among the variables in a model. Thus, a given change in one variable will always cause a resulting proportional change in another variable. Programming is refers modeling and solving a problem mathematically that involves the economic allocation of limited resources by choosing a particular course of action or strategy among various alternative strategies to achieve the desired objective. So linear programming is a mathematical modeling technique useful for the allocation of scale or limited resources such as labor, material, machine, time, warehouse space, capital, energy, etc. To several competing activities such as products, services, jobs, new equipment, projects, etc. on the basic of a given criterion of optimality. Here, observe the term mathematical modeling. Mathematical modeling is a converting the verbal description and numerical data into a mathematical expressions which represents the relation among the relevant decision variables, objective and constraints on the use of the resources. So, linear programming is we convert the data into mathematical expression and solve for an optimal solution to allocate the resources. So, next we have to discuss the structure of the linear programming model. First one is the decision variables. Decision variables are the input to the problem and these decision variables we can be identified by the, the company what are the products are producing. These are we are calling as a decision variables. These the decision variables are usually denoted by the x1, x2, dash 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 xn. The value of certain variables may or may not be under the decision, control, decision maker control. If the values are under the control of the decision maker, then such variables are said to be a control. Otherwise, we are calling as the, these the decision variables are uncontrollable. In linear programming model, all decision variables are continuous, controllable and non-negative. So, non-negative means x1, x2, x3, dash 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 xl greater than or equal to the 0. So, next we have to see the what do you mean by objective function. Objective function is in general it is the goal of the any company. We know that when the goal of the any company is it should be the profit or maybe the sales or maybe cost or maybe number of quantity. So, this objective function value is here we are trying to the optimize which means we have to go for the maximum profits or maximum sales or minimum cost or we have to use the minimum number of quantity. So, the objective function of each LP problem is expressed in the term of decision variables to optimize the criterion of optimality. Here, optimizing which means maximize or maybe the minimize the objective function that is optimize z equal to the c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus c3 x3 plus dash 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 plus cn x1 xn. So, previously we discussed the objective function always we are expressing in the terms of the decision variables. 
and also we know that when the x1 x2 up to the xn we are calling as the decision variable so z objective function z equal to the we are expressing in the terms of the decision variables that is the c1 x1 plus c2 x2 dash 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 plus cn xn here z is the objective function x1 x2 dash 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 xn are the decision variables c1 c2 dash 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 cn are the parameters that represent the contribution of a unit of the respective respective variables so which meaning is in general we are calling as the weight factor of the respected variable so next we have to see the constraints so what is the meaning of the constraint so con constraint is nothing but some resources are there for example the resources may be the time or maybe the machineries or maybe the men or maybe the energy these resources we have to use certain limitations for example i have the so machining time production time is there for example 20 hours are there but i should have to use the below the 24 hours only i should not to exceed the 20 hours of the machining time so constraints these are always certain limitations on the use of resources that are not available in infinite quantity such constraints must be expressed as linear equality or inequal or inequality which means equal to or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to in terms of decision variables the solution of a an lp model must to satisfy the these constraint so this is the introduction regarding the linear programming model so thank you